Hey everyone, have you ever stared at your bank account wondering, can I actually move this much money? We've all been there. Maybe you're saving for a house, or finally paying off that student loan. Whatever the reason, transferring money can feel like a mysterious process, shrouded in bank jargon and hidden fees. Well, today we're tackling Ally Bank transfers. Specifically, we're diving into the nitty-gritty of limits, how much can you move in and out, and what are the rules of the game? Because let's face it, understanding these limits can be the difference between a smooth financial maneuver and a frustrating roadblock. So, grab your favorite drink, settle in, and get ready to conquer those ally transfers. Before we dive in, a quick ally refresher. Ally is a popular online bank, known for its high-yield savings accounts and generally customer-friendly approach. But like any bank, they have their own set of rules and regulations, and understanding those is key to a successful money transfer. Types of Ally Transfers, Knowing Your Options Alright, first things first. There are a few different ways to move money with Ally. ACH Transfers, Automatic Clearinghouse, this is the classic bank-to-bank -bank transfer system. It's generally free, but it can take a few business days for the transfer to complete. External transfers, this refers to moving money between your Ally account and an account at a different bank. Again, typically free, but processing times can vary. P2P transfers, peer-to-peer -peer think services like Zelle or Venmo. These are great for sending money to friends and family quickly, but Ally may have daily or monthly limits for P2P transfers. The limits slow down, how much can you move? Now, let's get to the main event. Transfer Limits Here's a breakdown for each transfer type. ACH Transfers Ally allows a generous $25,000 per day limit for outgoing ACH transfers. That's a pretty high ceiling for most people's everyday banking needs. Keep in mind, this is the total for all your outgoing ACH transfers in a single day. External Transfers Here things get a little more complex. Ally imposes a daily limit of $3,000 for outgoing external transfers. However, there is a monthly maximum of $25,000. So, you can't just blast out $25,000 in one go, but you have some flexibility to spread it out over the course of a month. P2P transfers, Ally gets a bit tighter on P2P transfers, likely due to their informal nature. The daily limit for sending money via P2P is currently $2,500. There's also a monthly limit of $10,000. Important considerations beyond the limits. While the limits we mentioned are a good starting point, there are a few other things to keep in mind. Verification, especially for first-time transfers or large amounts, Ally may ask you to verify your identity. This might involve uploading some documents or answering security questions. Timing. Remember, ACH transfers aren't instantaneous. It can take a few business days for the money to appear in the receiving account. Factor this in when planning your transfers. Weekend transfers. If you initiate a transfer after business hours or on a weekend, it won't typically process until the next business day. Pro tips for mastering your ally transfers. Now that you're armed with knowledge, here are some pro tips to make your ally transfer smooth sailing. Plan ahead. If you're moving a large sum of money, initiate the transfer well before you need the funds to arrive. Schedule transfers. Ally allows you to schedule transfers in advance. This is a great way to ensure bills get paid on time or avoid any last-minute scrambling. Double-check everything. Before hitting that send button, take a moment to confirm the account details and amount. A typo can lead to a big headache. Ally transfers, you've got this. By understanding the different transfer types, limits, and a few key considerations, you'll be a pro at navigating Ally transfers. Remember, Ally offers a wealth of information on their website and app, so don't hesitate to explore if you have any further questions.